When we last saw Robin, the artful Joker had hung him on a gigantic Batmobile, along with dozens of giant pallet knives about to slice him to slivers. With Bruce Wayne securely tied to a nearby chair in the monstrous mobile room of Joker's studio. In one moment, we'll find out whether Robin is saved or shaved. forever when your prices or treasures are delivered to me. <laughs> Yourself a name. It's only one king and he's not self-proclaimed. I be the prince. His shorty next to me. Know that all kings die and I am next to be. R O O K L Y N. Where you been? I've been in parties. Suckers ain't built for the off, the legend, never the built more. The elks, the hey, lads. Chef's here. Come through. Come check him out. Come on. Manhattan Beach. It was no hey, thank you. What's up, Yeah, I'm all finished up the sandwich right now, man, for a little customer, you know what I mean? You're fucking doing it. This is it, man. This is the dream. This is the dream. This is the dream. I got dreams about Tiger Sandwich. Yeah, everybody dreams about Tiger Sandwich. This is the chef, and I got a dream. And I ain't Martin Luther King, but this is going down, baby. Only you crazy enough to come up with something like this and make it work. It is working, man. Let's see. You guys got something going. So, so what brings you over here, though, man? Yeah, I came out tonight. You know, I just fucking sold the fucking apartment. And I've been trying to sell for three months. And I'm just gonna about. fucking drink and black out, yeah. go home and I got <laughs> you celebrate it. You celebrate it. Celebrate, yo, right? Yo, yo, please come out and have a shout with me. Yeah, I'm about to join you. Know, you. I'm about to join you. People like you inspire me to be doing you, what you feel. And a lot of people don't. Thank you, brother. I appreciate do it. that. Do it. Got the place packed, man. Look at that. Hey, come on, bro. Look at the party out there. Go out there and enjoy yourself. Yeah, the girls are going crazy. Go out there and enjoy yourself. I got you. Tell the waitress, give me a shout out me. About to bring it to the customer, man. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Son, you don't even know what you in for I make a movie out you, show it in Kenmore Duffield, if you knew Linden I'm close to the gutter, I am like a tin pin Yeah, who that? Nigga, we that Before BT, everybody watch B-Cat We all hungry, trying to get in country kitchen It's been a recession out here Stop bitching, you got wings on your shirt So you reach in, nigga get your scratch if not David Pinero, a man who has seen much and seen too little. When he was a child, he watched his mother beat and buy a home invader for a safe filled with less than $100. They took the safe and ran. Dave has seen a lot. He sells real estate and is enjoying his prime of his life. Or is he? He's in love, but does she love him? He is destined to go back to relive circumstances that he has seen through his own eyes. And without a friend in sight, but in blurred vision, and see them in a new light, it's all in the eye of the beholder. How, no matter how hard we try, and without premeditated thought, a friend can't be there at the right moment like a tragic moment in a horror film or Shakespeare. Are we all blind? The blind are leading the blind. Stay tuned and watch as David is forced to return home in the twilight zone. I'm 
sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing something. I can't quite see it, but I see a cloud. And uh, get, get Kadim on the telephone. Yes, vitreous fluid. Hang on there, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be right back. Get me Kadeem's and, and, and Murray's number, okay? Right is away, it bad? please. Is it bad? Well, I, I don't want to alert you too much, but I see a tear. I see what looks like a tear. But y you know what? I, I'd rather Kadeem. Give me that card. Okay. I need you to see this man. Tonight? Immediately. You go into Kadeem, he can help. Some. It, it's bad. It, it's not good. It, it looks like. I can't quite see it. But I go it tomorrow? Like, no, no, you go tonight. You go immediately. This thing should only get worse if it, uh, if you don't go in right away. Uh, let's get you over there. Sometimes a tear can occur. Sometimes it's from trauma, age, or myopia. If the tear is near a blood vessel, which yours is, it can create hemorrhages in the retina. If this happens, the patient will start to see flashes of light and floaters, a curtain-like effect that slowly pulls across the eye. If not treated, the patient will become blind. Now, we're not gonna let this sad ending happen, but can you keep your head down? Can you, can you keep your head down? Even through sleep. Schedule us for surgery tomorrow, as soon as you can. New York Eye and Ear. Enter the Yakuza. We come to the sclera on both sides of the iris with two swords and a torch. We go in. We catch these foreign bodies of blood and suck them out. All vitreous liquid that had entered it and any other liquid. Extract the invaders. This is a home invasion, make no mistake. Every man has the right to protect his home or kill any man who enters his home with bad intentions. Kill him. Extract like a Jedi. I laser the tear back to its original form. I inject it with a bubble of nitrous oxide to replace the shape and seal the wall. After a few months, he'll achieve vision. And I even made him a third eye too. Really? Yeah, see, and I, uh, I implant. <laughs> Don't detach the retina. Gotta see clear the third eye vision, and they can't really hear, can't really see. What you doing, doctor? I really can't see. Fill up his eye with the noxious oxide. So he can see with his third eye. You better realize. You gotta use real lies. No lies. It's a surgery. Mike surgery. We taking his eye like this is burglary. Can't see. Can't do nothing. The anesthesia's kicking in. Can't see nothing. What's he really lying for? What's he looking at? What you trying to see? What you trying to do? This is surgery. Mike, one, two, three. We got it. We got it.
stay in a face down position. Normally, during waking hours, our eyes face forward and at night they face up or to the side. During your surgery, the doctor removed a portion of the vitreous gel that fills the retinal cavity and replaced it with a gas bubble. The success of your surgery depends on your ability to maintain the face down position prescribed by your doctor. Here's why. When facing forward, the gas bubble that was inserted into your eye is not positioned over the site of the surgery. When you rotate your head and eyes to a downward facing position, the bubble, shown in blue, moves to cover the site and acts as a bandage to help ensure a complete recovery. Not only must your face be in a downward position, but your eyes must be looking downward as well. How does it feel to be alone in the dark? So many nights fearing flashes. Don't flash. If I see that, it could be meaning surgery hasn't worked. I could lose my eye. Not being able to park my car even. The chaos of thoughts that fill a mind in fearful moments. Mr. Pinero! How are you? How are you What's this? Mold? Yeah. Paint chips? What's going on? No, I just, um, I, I keep getting mold up on the top there. Mr. Pinero, are you alright? No, I just had an eye surgery. I had a retinal tear. Oh, I gotta leave that in yeah, three, oh. three weeks. Three weeks. Sit down. Sit down. Relax. Have a seat. Have a seat. What's, I have to leave. What's going on? I used some, some oil. I used some oil oh, paint. I, I, before the surgery, I used some oil paint because I heard it blacks out. Can we? Uh, can we get this done? I mean, I've been waiting. Your father started the job. He never finished it. My father. You know, things haven't been the same since he's not around. He bring a lot of heat down on me from the management. You know, these are my two workers here. Yeah, right, well, well look, mold is fucking dangerous and it could hurt you. You got to do something about it. Looks like you know. Looks like it could be concealed. What's that pink over there? Uh, well, I painted over it a little bit with oil-based paint. Oh, come on, see yeah, what's going paint. on here. Oh. Hello? Yeah, I lost you the first time. I got no health insurance, man. I only got the 16,000 in the house. I got no health insurance, man. I only got the 16,000 in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Can I pull you back? It's a little rude. I'm not sure. All right, so, you know, you think you guys can fix it? Yeah, just pull it back. I'm going to look for the mold. Okay, yeah, check out if there's any paint I chips back there. Video come up on it down there. Uh, John, yeah. you got a paper, yeah. Paper, yeah. Can we can just we look handle? around if there's any Can we paint try chips? to handle this? Can we try to handle uh, this? I've been waiting too long for this. All right. Just try to get this so, done. Thank you, man. All right, my guys do a little I'm inspection be here. over here. See, 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 what, see what you guys can find. Look around. I'm looking over here. Look around. See if you see anything hazardous that we could uh, you know, you, get the patch up. It's not a problem. It's the Pinero. Listen, I really, you know, you know, my father dealt with you. He always was a nice guy with you. You guys always gave him a good Christmas bonus. You know, uh, Things haven't been the same. Yeah. You guys, uh, you know, these guys are all right. They're good workers. Uh, you. you see anything? Any, any paint chips back there? Looks like there's something back here. What's that? What's that? Look, the wall right there. Mr. Pinero, what's what's that in the corner over there? Pare, pare, pare. Name of the one. All right, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just let's go. Come on. We'll be back, guys. Come on. Mr. Pinero, we'll be back. Come on. 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 Come uh, I'm mental, no! Come on, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> what did you do to your eye? It's all bloody! I planned to paint. It had been 20 years since my last run. I was gonna go hard. I painted. I thought to myself, I still got all my feelings. And somewhat of a decent eye when I look down. I can still draw. Sometimes I saw blood in my iris. I wondered if I was going to go blind. Like the doctor didn't want to tell me, and he was hiding it. I couldn't drive to a parking spot or walk a block. How could I cross the street without lifting my head and threatening my healing? It's not something I could live without. The amounts of drops and bandages necessary, the head position, the bad sleep, the desolation. My back felt like Gamera's shell. I just wanted company. Hi David, it's me. Um, I'm just calling to let you know that I miss you very much and that I, soon, soon, very, very soon I'm gonna come and see you. But I've just been so busy with work and with mom and with the kids and you know how it can be. It becomes very overwhelming. 
but you know how I am. I'm going to show up when least expected, and I hope everything's well, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye. The doctor said it's going to take me about three weeks to heal up. You think she loves me? I don't, I don't know what your girl's gonna do, man. I don't, I don't know. Where, where did you meet her? Friends, friends. I don't know if she loves you, man. Because I'm aging? That's why I don't know. The doctor says that I should make a recovery after three weeks. I was almost blind, man. I, I just went to India. Huh? Indian girl is beautiful, too. You're making me dizzy. Yeah, but also, and uh, I went to China. Yeah, so Chinese. Hong Kong, so good though. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Big ass. Ass man all the way. Yeah. Nice breath. You think she's six feet? Huh? huh? Oh yeah, baby. This is a gift. This is from India. Right? This is from Japan, like so. Thank you, and I appreciate it for you. Thank you, and I appreciate that. I go back to Japan with my, yeah, my girlfriend. <laughs> I think they want my money. Somebody's trying to kill you. I didn't say they're trying to kill me. Bro, you sure, man? I said they're gonna want my money. What medication you want? Ibuprofen. Well, well, I don't think there's anybody trying to kill you, bro. I didn't say kill me. I said rob. No, there is. Hold me back. I'm gonna need some food right now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fuck. I keep my money in my apartment. Can you come pick up my money and put it somewhere else for me? Nobody, nobody take your money. What are you talking about? You take him um, medication? Friends do not mean to not be there. Like Hitchcock wrote in Psycho about us all being in our own hell. Cold and damp, like a grave. They can never get out. They scratch and claw, but only at the air, only at each other. They cluck their thick tongues and shake their heads oh so delicately. I don't trust these fucking Yeah guys man, don't worry about them fucking don't worry about them super dudes, bro. Them cats them cats ain't gonna do shit, bro. Yeah man. What's up with that girl? She is fucking fine, bro. She got a fat ass. That's her? Get out of that. Yo, you see that Nick game, bro? These fucking bums, bro. The Wizards? I mean, fucking really, bro. Fuck no, hell no. I mean, yo, Kobe could ball, but, you know. Yo, you gotta say, you remember back in the days when we could come up? Fucking Chris Childs rocked his ass, man. Fucking nodded his ass up all Brooklyn style and shit. Then came to open his jaw like he's like Google ads or some shit. That shit was sick, bro. You know, you don't do that shit in the fucking street fight. You don't do that at all, bro. Oh, damn, shorty. Yo. I remember mean, when Chris Child, I, I just, I just can't forget how he fucking stepped back, boom, boom. Just, it was like nothing, bro. And he wanna be all oh, hold me back, hold me back. Ain't nobody holding you back, pussy. He ain't wanna fight. That's the difference between LA and New York. That's the way they fight. That's the way we fight. Yeah, I remember our, our Knicks, bro. Our Knicks. Fucking get Oakley, Kurt Thomas. Bro, the fuck? They'll follow your mother, bro. They didn't give a fuck. Remember LJ, dude? The fucking. The, 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 oh, yo, his kids did that shit. You know what that is? You in the stadium? You got kids doing LJ? Oh, yeah. Yo, Stark, Stark, and Jordan. Take a look at John Starks up and over. Whole Grant and we, we don't get that shit nowadays. We don't got nobody dunking on nobody. These cats wanna hit shoot in the fucking perimeter. They don't want no beef. Yo, I love that little cat Starks, bro. I love him. every shot he had, especially when his grandma died. Yo, he went fucking wild, bro. It was like trees everywhere. But then of course, I had fucking Reggie Miller back then. What the fuck are you gonna do against him? Trees galore all day. Looking like a fucking chameleon, like an alien. 
Like, if I could have, I would have hit that dude with gum from the fucking stands. That's how much I hated his ass. Dude, you need to work out. You're losing your fucking tone. You fucking, you need to work out. I fucking just had an operation. I can't even lift my head. I'm not gonna go fucking work out. I'm saying, bro. We need to be sharp, all right? Just had an operation. I should work out. She's like a ghost now. Not sure if she existed. People run from pain in the darkness. She has left me. In the darkness, she shares with someone else. I have become illuminated by the strength of the dark. Only I know the dark now. There's a little difference between the hero and the villain. Both were scarred by life. But one's lost hope. And that's the villain. I wonder where I'm going. I have one question for you. Can you keep your head down? Can you keep your head down? Oh my fucking... Oh. Oh, I fucking cut my arm, bro. Yo, who the fuck you at, bro? I'm over here, bro. My fucking arm, bro. I can't see shit. Turn on the fucking lights. With what, bro? My fucking foot? I turned as a real icon to me. You saw now Justin Bieber. Huh? Come to Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's gonna have a new hit record called Bitch Spanking Like His Mom Shit. Bieber UFC, the crowd goes buck, buck, buck.
Thanks for the painting. <laughs> 